Huge changes are coming to the movement profession. And if you are unaware of them, I have a lot of information I'd like to share with you. We have a free masterclass coming up. It's called the future of movement, new tech, new drugs, new rules. Now, the reason that I am doing this is I've been in the movement industry since 1995 is when I graduated. I have spent the last 20 years building the Z-Health system, the Z-Health curriculum, trying to bring integrated neurology into what we already do well as movement practitioners, whether you're a doctor, a therapist, or a coach. But as we're watching around the world right now, things are changing. Things are changing rapidly, and we are going to be confronted with enormous needs to improve who we are and what we provide to clients so that we can remain indispensable going forward. AI, obviously, I'm not saying the robots are coming for your job, but they are. Uh, <laughs> the robots are coming, right? Uh, I know it sounds weird, but if you go on um, your iPhone and you go to the App Store and you put in Fitness AI, you're gonna see tons of apps coming up. And what those apps are, they're basically utilizing artificial intelligence al algorithms to provide programming, to track progress. And it will astound you, if you are a trainer or a coach particularly, how many people say, I prefer this to my live trainer. Why? Because it's cheaper and it's more effective. And that's what I want to focus on, this idea that something that is monitoring people in real time and upgrading or changing their training program based off inputted uh, data that has been input into the system, that's a little scary. Uh, it's not that it's not effective. That's actually what we should all be doing. But again, the idea is that new tech is coming. We also have multiple forms of new technology that are offering to do assessments for us. We stand people in front of a camera, we watch them move, the AI does all of the calculations of their range of motion, their speed, how much power they're generating, etc. Now, that's all really, really honestly cool stuff. You can go on to ChatGPT and say, I am a 54-year-old male, these are my sports, these are what I like to do, I have three days a week to work out, I work out at my house, I have this, these uh, pieces of equipment, please generate a 12-week training program. And believe it or not, in about 30 seconds, you'll have a 12-week training program that is pretty decent. So we have new tech that we need to know how to quickly integrate and use successfully with clients. I'm not saying that I hate any of it. I love it. I love the fact that it's available. It should make our jobs more efficient. It should make our jobs easier. But you need to know, again, what's out there, how to use it, how to integrate it, so that you re retain the ability to apply human touch, right? Because the one thing that the computers can't do right now is they cannot put hands on people. They cannot coach them utilizing your eyes yet. <laughs> uh, and they obviously can't communicate with them in the way that you can. So I'm not saying we need to be afraid of new tech, but it is coming. We need to be aware of it because if we're not, we can be replaced fairly easily, especially if people don't understand the value that we bring. The same thing is true in therapy. The same thing is true in pain management, the same thing is true in elite performance. All of these different things are coming. Now, in addition to that, we have a whole other subset of issues that we need to be able to address. If you look at any media, you know people are constantly talking about weight loss peptides now. Ozempic, Monjaro, Wigovi. Peptides by themselves are an enormously cool thing. Scientists have identified over 7,000 naturally occurring peptides in the human body. There are 20 or 30 right now easily accessible uh, in the biohacking world peptides that do everything from increased strength to improving um, aerobic fitness to obviously helping with blood sugar control and weight loss etc now why this is important for movement professionals is that probably around the world half or more of all movement professionals have made most of their money helping people lose weight uh, and get more fit. Guess what? Pretty soon, people can take a shot and lose more weight than they've ever lost with you. They will also be able to take a shot or a pill and emulate, in many cases, some of the profound effects of exercise. It's coming for us, and it is coming right now. Not 30 years down the road, but right now. I'm going to talk about all of these different ideas and how we're going to handle this as elite brain-based movement professionals uh, in this free masterclass that we have coming up. If you're interested in this kind of information, make sure to click the link. I promise it's free. It really is just my desire to say, hey, I love coaches. I love the movement professions. We need to be prepared for what's coming because I believe strongly we are indispensable for our clients, but we need to be able to navigate this new world with the new rules that are coming. Uh, and I wanna give you just some insights into that. We'll spend about an hour and a half going through these different topics. I'll give you a bunch of information. Uh, and I just built a, about a 35 page ebook for you just on peptides. Uh, so all that'll be part of this. Again, this is just our effort to give the movement coaching community uh, some things to think about and ways to prep for the future. So I hope to see you there.